Hi everybody, Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com and I'm showing you the Acer Aspire E15 system. Uh, we're going to do a review of this for Notebooks.com. This specific model is the Acer Aspire E557 or 573G 56RG. What does all that mean? <laughs> I don't know. No one knows what they mean except for Acer. Uh, what it does have on it is, of course, an Intel Core i5 5200U processor, an Intel GeForce 9, 940M with 4 gigabytes of dedicated video RAM, uh, an 8 gigabyte of uh, uh, memory on board, and uh, that says 1,000 gigabytes. In other words, a 1 terabyte uh, hard drive. It's a traditional spinning hard drive, and so, unfortunately, it's fairly slow. It says it's got ultra-fast wireless. Um, I would say that the wireless is an average speed. I don't know. I didn't really notice anything faster on this system than anything else. Now let's take a look at it. You notice it's got a large 15.6-inch display. The display on the computer is a little bit dim, unfortunately. And evidence of that is, notice down here, um, I'm showing you how bright. The brightness is all the way up. That's down to 25% can't really tell on the screen but in this fairly bright room um, that looks okay uh, I find myself in most situations needing to run it at about 50 and really a lot of the time about 75 percent uh, of brightness and therefore you get a lot less battery life than what you would normally expect the battery life on this system uh, this is showing 40 percent free and it says that that gives you about another hour and 10 minutes Unfortunately, the Windows uh, indicator telling you how much battery life you have left is pretty inaccurate. Sadly, um, you don't really know how much battery life you have. The percentage is accurate, but the time is definitely not. Uh, so if I start to work on it, it'll jump uh, pretty low or it might get higher depending on how you've got things set up. It is a 1080p screen, and so therefore you get a little bit better uh, resolution than you might on most traditional laptops. Uh, it's got a decently wide viewing angle. At this point is where it stops becoming uh, useful and comfortable to view it. So that means about two to three people could sit around this computer and use it to view something. If you got a few people wanting to watch a movie in a car on a, on a car ride or a business person making a presentation at a small office with just two or three customers, it might be work workable. Let's talk about the keyboard on this system before we look at the ports. It's got a full-size keyboard with a number pad. Unfortunately, there's no indicator telling you whether you're in number mode or um, in arrow mode. And so sometimes when I'm trying to log in using my numeric uh, pin to log into my computer, log into this computer, uh, I'll start hitting the numbers and nothing happens and you have to hit the number lock key to uh, engage it. That's a little bit frustrating sometimes. Other than that, the keyboard is fairly decent. Uh, it's, it's solid. There's not a lot of uh, travel. Uh, there's not a lot of you know push or give when you're typing. You can be someone who bangs pretty good and you won't have a, a great deal of difficulty. Now there is an on-screen uh, number indicator and caps lock indicator. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes when that's engaged, it's not actually working because uh, when you first boot this system, it takes forever for it to become usable as it begins to load things in the background. Let's talk about this trackpad. I'll be honest with you, I hate it. I, I'm not mincing words. It's just one of the worst trackpads. Uh, yes, it's large and it is responsive, Unfortunately, I do most of my pointing with my right hand, and if you point anywhere in this section of the trackpad, you're going to get a right click instead of uh, a, a regular click, and so it's a bit of a pain. I always hook up to a Bluetooth mouse. I do that with most computers. Um, I try to force myself to use the trackpad for a while, but this is one, you know, after about two days, I said, no, I've got to, got to hook up to my Logitech uh, Bluetooth mouse. We're over here on the left hand side and you get a Kensington lock which is for security purposes uh, there's the vent that uh, allows the fans inside to vent 
the hot air from the processor and the video. You've got a VGA out, a gigabit Ethernet port, HDMI out, two USB 3.0 ports, and one combo mic headphone jack. Over here on the front, you'll notice the indicator light telling you that we're in sleep mode presently. There's another indicator light that is for the battery whenever you're accessing, or not the battery, but the hard drive whenever you're accessing it. There's that uh, micro SD, I mean the SD card, flash card slot right there. And that's really about it along the front. Let's look at the back. Nothing there, just the hinges. It's got a sturdy hinge. A little bit hard to open with one hand. You usually have to use two. Here on the bottom, there you got some more vents um, and also screws. That means you can open this thing. It's got the feet uh, up here so that you're not putting this computer directly on. Uh, the bottom isn't touching um, the table so you won't scratch it up. With it, you've got this textured feel to it. It's black, but there's a definite textured feel when you open it up. Show you how you can open it up with one hand, but you got to kind of wiggle it to, for it to open. It's also got that textured feel on the inside. It looks fairly decent, not great, but uh, uh, usable. Overall, I'd say this is an acceptable system. It's decent, uh, nothing to write home about. It's not my favorite. Uh, I've used much better Acer laptops than this one. Um, I think this one, while it has some specs that say it's a little bit higher end, uh, the feel, the build quality, and the speed of it really kind of feels like a budget entertainment system uh, instead of a high quality entertainment system. Overall, I would say that this is a computer that I cannot recommend. I would not recommend anyone buying this system uh, just because of the weaknesses that I mentioned. Uh, the slightly dim display, poor battery life, terrible trackpad, and as I said earlier, uh, booting up the system, it takes forever to get to a point where you can actually use it. Uh, what I do is I turn it on and then I just do something else for a couple of minutes before I actually try to start working on it. It does have a nice uh, keyboard on it. Uh, it is mildly attractive and the 1080p screen means you are getting high resolution. Uh, it's got decent sound quality so it's not a total loss. If you are looking for a system like this uh, I really think, though, that there are uh, better options out there than the Acer E15. This has been Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com. Thanks for watching.